This video is going to be an introduction to algebra and just the word itself for so many people strikes fear into their hearts and it's like algebra, oh no, all those letters, all those numbers, it's the most complicated, hardest bit of maths. What I'm going to try and do is show you how algebra actually can be really fun and more importantly how it can actually make life more simple, not more difficult. Speaking of making things more simple, the actual word algebra comes from Arabic, algebra, don't know how to pronounce that, I'm just guessing, algebra. <laughs> and what that meant in Arabic was putting the broken pieces back together. Putting the broken pieces back together. Life and maths can be very complicated with many different parts. And what algebra tries to do with numbers and letters is actually make life simpler by bringing together all the different concepts and writing them in a very simple way. Let's give an example of how that might work. If we had a situation, let's invent a situation from the modern day. Let's have a situation where the monthly cost, let's change it to red, the monthly cost of a mobile phone contract of an iPhone 5 contract is five dollars per hour of calls, five dollars per hour of calls. I don't know if that's accurate, it sounds a bit much to me, but anyway. It's five dollars per hour of calls and half a dollar, so 0.5 dollars per text, per text. And we're going to call the monthly cost of an iPhone contract C, and we're going to call the, f uh, the cost per hour of phone calls, we're going to call that P, and the tax we're going to call T and often the letters are in italics so we've simplified straight away the long word monthly cost into just the letter C the phone calls the cost of the phone calls as just P and the tax as T and the question would be write an expression in dollars for the total cost per month for the total cost per month. Well, straight away, they told us the total cost per month is C. So we're going to do C equals, as in the total monthly cost, which is C, that equals something. What does it equal? Well, we have phone calls, P. If I did one phone call, how much would that cost? $5. If I did three phone calls, what are we doing? Three times by five, 15. If I did five phone calls, that would be five times by five, 25. But this time, we don't know how many, so I do P phone calls. What's the cost? Well, with three, we times it by five. With five, we times it by five. So with P, let's times it by five. So the cost of the phone calls is 5P. When you have a number next to a letter like that, that means multiplied. So 5p represents 5 times by the letter p. And that is the cost in phone, of the phone calls. If I imagine that p is 10, which is that I've, I've done 10 hours of phone calls, that would be 5 times by 10, which is 50, $50. What else is part of the cost? The tax. Now, if I do one text, that's half a dollar. If I do ten texts, that's five dollars. So again, I'm multiplying by the number of texts. But if the number of texts is called T, I'll just do 0 0.5 times by T. And there we have the expression for the cost of the phone call, or the, the cost of the monthly contract. The cost is, and let's highlight it, the cost is 5p plus 0.5t. And that kind of sums up the whole monthly contract. So all those different words 
have now been condensed into that simple expression. All the broken pieces of different expressions of words and phone calls and texts, we've all put them quite simply into quite a beautiful little phrase. C equals 5P plus 0.5T. And many different aspects of the universe can be simplified in this way into lovely, neat expressions. Let's do another example, and this time you can try and guess along about what the answer will be. Let's say we have Andrew has um, X. X is a, a letter that people using algebra love to do. Andrew has X footballs. Let's say Kaylee has three more footballs than Andrew. How many does Kaylee have? Or they would phrase it as write an expression for how many Kaylee has. How many, how many footballs Kaylee has? Well, Andrew has X footballs. So if he had five footballs, X would be five. Kaylee has three more than him. So if Andrew had five, Kaylee would have eight. You may wonder whether or not the answer is 3X. But that would be three multiplied by X. So if Andrew would have 5, that would tell me that Kaylee has 15. But Kaylee only has 3 more than Andrew. The expression for how many Kaylee has would be x plus 3. And that equals how many Kaylee has. Okay, Andrew still has um, x footballs. Let's quickly introduce someone new. John has twice as many an as Andrew. Let's write that. John has twice as many. Let's make it all the same color. Twice as many footballs as Andrew. Write an expression for how many he has. Write an expression for how many footballs he has for how many he has. Okie doke. And let's bring it down a bit. Okay. It overlaps a bit, but I think you get the idea. Well, Andrew has X footballs, and John has twice as many. Can you guess what the expression would be for how many John has? If you guessed 2X, which means 2 multiplied by x. Well done. Both of these examples show how a long, complicated situation with loads of words can be simplified into such a neat, beautiful little expression as 2x. So next time you hear about algebra, think about life getting easier rather than more complicated.